Hey everybody, we're going to look at something a little different today. I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to kind of pull back the curtain a little bit and show you uh, one of the things I do uh, during my day job. Um, one of my main responsibilities is verifying a new lamp when we are talking to new vendors or something like that. So this lamp here is a aftermarket BLFU-195A. It has a UHP bulb inside, as you can see there. Uh, however, it is not an original from Optima. This is an aftermarket. So one of the things I always need to confirm is the quality of the lamp filter, that IR filter. This thing here is a little uh, demonstration of some other IR filters. This is an old OEM. It got a little too hot at one point. It didn't have good cooling. You can see where it kind of melted the coating a little bit. This one on the other hand, I think this, yeah, this is a really bad uh, knockoff lens. It barely has any kind of coating at all get it to kind of reflect it has sort of a greenish there we are it's kind of like a greenish tint to it but it does not work very well and then another aftermarket cruddy lens with a green tint there we are so these are kind of my examples of bad lenses of what we don't want so a good lens, which I should have sitting out here so we can look at it, is this one. You can see that reddish blue purple to it. This will be our control, I will call it, because we're going to measure the amount of IR being cut by the lenses using a device I put together that a lot of people could put together. This thing right here is my lens test device. It's based off an Arduino microcontroller. You can see that there. I just printed the case for it. And then I build a sensor setup which uses an infrared emitter. You can see that this is actually from a camera. I repurposed it into this. And then this receiver here, this is actually a device used to measure color temperature. Um, you can get these from Adafruit or a bunch of places. So the way this works is infrared light comes out of here. I have a known amount coming out and then it's picked up by this. And then I just measure how many lux of infrared light we're getting. There should be a 10 to 1 cut at least. So if it's a thousand lux being sent out, I should get 10 lux red and vice versa. Um, usually it's 10,000 lux that I get out of this in infrared, and then 1,000 lux is the uh, OEM reading that I usually get. So I want this lens to perform at least like that. So I have to get the lens out, so we'll take that screw out, and let me pop that clip loose. Come on, Cliff, let's go. There it goes. And then we'll loosen this one. I'm not going to take it all the way out, just loosen it. And then, there we go, and the glass pops right out. So to test it, all I do is sandwich it between these two things here and then I just use uh, this clip and that holds it then plug it into the computer and then I'll fire up the software so here we go I just use putty which is a serial terminal program and it's spitting out the data here we're getting 94 9500 lux or so with that lens in place so I think this lens may be a no-go. Really would expect to see about a thousand lux if this were working right. I'm gonna take the lens out and I'll show you what it looks like bare. 
so you can see with it I'm just holding it it's shifting around a little bit but you can see about 10,000 lux is what this thing tops out at without a filter now let's put let's put this uh, OEM piece of lint on it let's put that one in now 100 700 so less than a thousand that's good that's what we want now let's take that one out and I'm gonna put Yeah, and this is one of the controls, the bad control. This was that second one I showed you with the green coating. Let's see if we can, yeah. So that coating's no good. Put it back inside there. We still basically have the same thing. Let's get it straight. Yeah. Again, about 8,200, 8, 8,171, that's too much. And then I'll get the, that last one with the uh, corner cut off. That one also was no good. And those little spikes where you see it jumping up to 15, 17,000, that's because it's picking up the uh, lights above me when I open it up. So that's no good. It's kind of curious, though, even the uh, the melted one the burned one with the uh, little circle right there that one even still works pretty well see we're getting 900 lux right now so this particular lens this current lens for this lamp right here this one's no good so I'm not going to use that I'll show you what I'm going to do I actually have a tray with a whole bunch of these good lenses in it. Let's measure the good one. So there we go. We're about 1200 lux, and that's fine. That's well within range. Really, if it's under 2000, I go for 10 to 1 usually, but if it's under 2000, it's fine. And you can never go too low. If this went down to zero lux for an IR filter, I'd be okay with that because we don't need infrared light getting inside the projector. So that means you can put this lens into this housing. That's why it has that little notch, so we know which way to put it. And it just fits in like that. Oh. Fits in like that. And then we'll get our little clip. It goes over the top. need to make sure that that sits over that pin it's a little difficult to do with gloves on but it's better to wear gloves for this I don't want to get any fingerprints on that because it's it's hard to clean fingerprints off of those lenses there we go okay so that's in come on focus and I am, this is my new, uh, I upgraded to a new phone. So this is my new camera for the next year or two. And so far I'm really enjoying it. The uh, camera works really well. This is the uh, S21 Plus 256. I'm doing, uh, right now I'm actually doing tracking focus. I told it to focus on that lamp. So now... Wow, it does pretty good. It holds that focus. So anyway, back to uh, this lamp. Let's, let me just move that so it's back on the pin properly. It slipped off the pin. There we go. Whoop, did it lose it? Lost its focus position. That's okay. All right, that's back on. I like it. There we are. So now, this lamp has a proper uh, IR cut filter on it so this can now safely be sold there's the uh, the old useless filter that didn't do anything and then there's the new one 
and it's pretty good. So if you have any questions, uh, comments, suggestions, cake recipes that you want to share, go ahead and uh, stick it in the comments below. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can buy this lamp if you need one. Um, as far as this thing, if anybody has any interest, I'll be glad to uh, draw up and post a schematic. The uh, software is just the example software that works with that chip, uh, that uh, color uh, measuring IC. And uh, aside from that, thank you for watching.